Hello everyone! Good afternoon and welcome back to my channel! How are you mga kapatid? It's been a while po na nawala po tayo sa live stream and of course even po sa ating uploaded videos is medyo uh, nawala din po tayo. No? So I haven't uh, make it privately or hindi ko po tinago. The reason why I was away for a while it's because uh, na positive po tayo. No? So this video that I'm doing right now, guys, please keep on watching. This is just an awareness to everyone that uh, who haven't had COVID in their life, hindi nyo po naranasan. So, I want to give a bit of advice. And I want to spread awareness to everyone who underestimate COVID, included me. So, please keep on watching, mga kapatid. saan, bakit, yes, it's one of the question uh, isa po ko sa napaka piloso po talaga na tao no? so when uh, COVID hit the whole world the entire world for, all, for more than a year guys I'm still in denial in myself I'm the one of those thousands of people that up to this day they didn't take it seriously that up to this day they are not believing COVID is existing in this world uh, warnings for everyone when I have the COVID I'm still in denial I didn't accept it that I have it already even though the last symptoms I have already felt it in myself I just realized and I just accept it the moment that I lost my taste and my smell. Paano po natin pinahalagahan ang ating senses, guys? We have a lot of senses in our body, included this is our sense of smell and our sense of taste. No? So when I have the COVID, I realize how important it is. How important to have our sense of smell. I realize that COVID is so deadly. And it's a serious sickness that you need to take it seriously. Do not underestimate it because it's deadly. I can tell that, yes. I lost my taste. It's because I lost my sense of smell. Even the favorite food, even how tasty it is, you cannot taste anything. And you cannot smell anything. I realize that value, that value of our senses. How, even how how mabango it is or how mabaho it is, you cannot smell anything. And if you have it, if you do, if you have pellet, please, you need to be very, very serious on it. Uh, I have uh, lost my appetite because I cannot smell anything but I need to fight for that so I still keep on eating fruits and I drink a lot of water and I drink a lot of vitamins because if you're going to stop anything then you will die you will die Then, the hardest part that I have experienced those days that I am suffering, I am mean, battling the COVID, is too hard to breathe. Even three steps that you're gonna do, hihingalin ka na po. And there is a lot of water that uh, I have in thick, but still, I felt so thirsty. And I felt that my uh, lungs is already have a plane uh, that I can even heard it naririnig ko na po but I don't have a cup no? hindi, po ako nag, hindi ako inubun that time but I realized that uh, COVID is already there kasi naririnig ko na na nagkakaroon na ako ng plane inside so 
the worst part is uh, 2.30 na madaling araw when I woke up and I realized that I really need to surrender everything to Him. God held me. God never lead me. Uh, when I wake up 2.30 na madaling araw, I can feel it. I think it's my end, no? I told that it was my end of everything because I lost my breath for two minutes. I feel that um, my breath was stuck already, guys. And here is a uh, namaman hit na siya. That every night drink out water, I I I cannot feel that the water's already here. So. I just re I just realized that my tears was starting to fall down. Nayak talaga ako because I realized how important this life. I realized how important because I have still a small baby and I have a husband and of course my family need me too. So working here away from my family and has suffering this kind of sickness, this COVID was very difficult. So, that time, I just closed my eyes and I surrendered everything to God. But I, the only, the only thing what's in my mind on that day, that I never lost my faith. I told to Him, that if I will my end on that time if it's my end then I cannot do anything but if I have given a chance I will do make my life much better especially that I have a small daughter and you need to be focused, guys. If you found, if you feel that you have it already in yourself, you will get nervous, but please stay on focus. That's the thing that I did. And I do everything. I go to internet, I go to Google, and I search to help myself because nobody could help you. Nobody could help you. Except God and of course yourself, your family, just, your family will be there to guide you, to give you such a um, good message for you to to fight for what you have you have been through. But still, at the end of the day, it's still you are the one who could help yourself. So you need to stay focused, and you need to keep your feet to him and believe that you will be cured because I always believe that there is no there is no greater greatest doctor except to our dear God so mga kapatid after uh, I feel bitter I realize how important even this life halagahan po natin ang ating Katawan, please pahalagahan po natin ang ating mga senses at pahalagahan natin ang buhay na ito because we just have one life and of course do not forget tell to your loved ones how deep your love to them and how big your heart for them because when the day that will come if you will not survive if it were that you will not survive COVID and you will die, they cannot hurt everything or they cannot feel everything from you. So as early as now, you need to spread love and show to your loved ones how important they are in your life. Uh, the bit advice that I can give you also, mga kapatid, to please if you are one of the person that not taking seriously the COVID right now, please take it seriously. And then, 
drink plenty of water every day at least eat glasses of water drink plenty of of, of, of uh, vitamins and eat plenty of fruits and get a risk papagod ka po pagpagod ka please do not hesitate to take risk and take uh, sleep no matulog po tayo ng maayos kasi the reason that covid will will uh, uh enter up or papasok siya sa atin mag interact talaga siya papasukin ka talaga niya if your immune system was getting slow pag bumaba po yung immune system system mo and believe me it's the covid will be very easy napasukin ang iyong katawan and that is what happened to me because uh I have a bit of stress, a bit of stress for the time, and then lack of sleep and tiredness. So that's the reason that I lost my, I mean my my immune system was getting slow, and I had a COVID in me. But now I already negative, na mga kapatid. So thank you for all, mga kumarik po, Jane. Your skip was. You are keeping and mga kumpare ko and to my family and to my friends, my loved ones who include me in their prayers. Thank you so much and for all your wonderful message that you keep on sending on me. Maraming 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 salamat po. It really helped a lot. Yung mga words nyo po sa akin, the positivity of life that you're sharing on to me. Cannot be forgotten, guys. Thank you, thank you so much, po talaga. So I hope that this video will give you a lesson, guys. And this video can spread awareness how important this life and how important for us to be more serious about COVID. Please spread love. Mag-ingat po tayong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat po.